Hi, Dave from Integrate Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email automation inside Infusionsoft that's designed to send out the same email to your contact over and over until they do something. In this case, actually click a link so that you're not wasting your time sending your further emails to your contacts if they don't express an interest. So the way to get started is to go into the Act or Infusionsoft campaign builder and then create a new uh, campaign. We're going to call it just email. And you want to start. My recommendation is to have a tag applied and you'll see by the naming convention, it makes it very easy to know where people are at. So I'm going to apply a tag and let's call this one start email one create that and I highly recommend you put it into a category save that and then next up is to build your uh, email send sequence for the first email only so I'm going to go ahead and do that go in here we're going to send an email this is going to be email 1a and the most important part is you need to include a link you need for them to actually have an action that they accomplish and when they do click a link you're going to apply a tag so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight a word create a link and it's a URL link of course this would be to your domain or somewhere that you want them to go and the most important part here is this thing where you can create or I should say add a tag. So I'm going to have them, uh, when they click on that link, there, another tag is going to be applied called start email to. Yes, I would like to create that tag and I would come back later and put it in the correct category, but that's going to fire off uh, the next automation in the series. So if they actually click on that link, they're then going to be added to receive the next email sequence. So go ahead and save that. Whoops, got to give it a subject. I'm going to just say welcome. Go back here. I'm going to put in a delay because if they don't even that open that email, I do want to send that basically that same one again and again. So let's wait, let's say a day. Let's run it at 8 a.m. in the contacts time zone during the weekday. And let's duplicate this. I'll give it a slightly different name. Maybe change the title, but I still want to have a link click that's going to trigger adding a tag. So let's just say welcome. Okay. And we can keep doing this. You know, we might put in a little bit different timer this time. We can wait, I don't know. Let's try the weekend. Let's try it on the weekend. And instead of 8 a.m., somebody sleeping in, let's go for 11 a.m. in their own time zone. So I'm going to wait one day at least. And then we'll send the same email again. Slight variation maybe. Go take a look at it. Oh, why not? Let's just say, let's get the second email. So just to review, we've got a link in here that when clicked adds a tag. That tag will get them into the next sequence that sends out the second email. So you can do this as many times as you want, but let's just think about this. If you send an email 10 times and it never gets opened, what does that tell you? It's either the prospect is totally not interested or um, you need to change your messaging, the subject line needs to change, but at least you've given them a chance to consume your content. So if they don't do anything, is there really any reason to send them anywhere else to the next email? No but we're going to give them as many chances as possible uh, to do so. So if they make it through here, 
um, and they haven't done anything, we want to add a tag that basically says they are not interested. Not interested. And let's apply that tag. interested let's create that tag put it in the prospect category so this way we've identified a person that is not interested in what we have to say and then finally here's kind of the biggie we want to have a tag goal at the end and we want to have this start email to be the tag goal. So the way it works is if any time during this email sequence, in this case I've got three emails going up, they click on a link, they're immediately going to get pulled to the end here. Additionally, we're going to have a similar um, automation set up for email two that's triggered by the same tag that pulled them through here. So that's how you can set up an email automation in Infusionsoft that only sends emails to people that have expressed an interest by clicking on a link.